Here at the State Library, I'm part of a team which acquires a wide variety of material, such as photos, diaries and letters, which are to be added to the Heritage Collection. People know it's a tragedy if a person loses their memory. It's also a tragedy for a place or a state to be forgotten, so our Heritage Collection helps WA to keep its memory. Most items are donated, which is terrific, but sometimes a special piece of history comes up for sale, often at auctions, so we acquire it if we can. One time there was a memorable stamp auction held at a local university. Stamp auctions can reveal hidden treasures, as interesting original letters may be in envelopes which are being sold for the value just of the stamps. When I turned up for the auction, it was obvious many in the room knew each other. They were chatting away comfortably and very knowledgeably with each other. Unlike me, they were familiar with terms like poached egg floors and mint hinged These are some of the many phrases which all relate to stamps and postage. We have a bid from number 10, now a bid from 8, one from 107, another from 10. That's it? Sold. Stamp auctions move along very quickly, with hundreds of items offered in quick succession. The pace was brisk. As the item I was after came closer, I was becoming nervous. Suddenly, it was to be the next item. I was ready, but to my horror, the auctioneer called a refreshment break. As the others chatted and joked while they had tea from their thermoses, I sat in a state of nervous energy until the break was over. Finally, it was over. The auctioneer came back on stage and started with, Ladies and gentlemen, lot 431, what am I offered? Bid on my left. Bid at the back, bid to the lady on the aisle. That was me. The bidding for my item had started and it went on at a cracking pace. Then all other bidders dropped out except me and the competitor on the phone. My heart was racing and yet it seemed to go on for ages. Finally, my competitor on the phone gave up and applause broke out in the room. There had been no item up until now which had produced such a bidding war. So what had been worth all this effort? It was a beautiful, clearly written letter from the year 1840 by Edwin Padbury to his brother Walter Padbury. While this letter was written for business, it also showed a lot of care and affection for his brother. Walter Padbury was an Australian pioneer, a successful businessman and a very generous philanthropist in Western Australia. A very, very worthy piece of history. Despite the process nearly giving me a heart attack, It was a great thrill to hold this piece of our history. History from over 170 years after it was written, now secured for all West Australians to see and appreciate.